Kotaku is up to their antics. They are defending trans bullets and they lie. They lie all the time and they do it right here. It's so patently obvious. But we're here to expose this evil outlet. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. So if you don't know what happened, covered this earlier this month. Call of Duty announced new Pride, or excuse me, Pride gift packs that include transgender-themed bullets and weapons. They wrote this on their official website. Call of Duty is for everyone, and we're proud to celebrate Pride Month by offering seven different weapon cam camo variants, each representing the colors of the different LGBTQ plus flags available as a free gift pack. Find them in the store in a single bundle. It also, it also shared various screenshots of the weapons, which you can see right there on the screen. They obviously like combine them together. X user Bob Network UK noted that the camos allow players to obtain transgender themed bullets as well. You can see there, he shared a screenshot. And then X user Gustavo Cardenas corroborated that there are indeed transgender bullet themed, uh, transgender themed bullets on one of the firearms. You can see it right there. According to X user DD Play, Tab Movie, one of the weapons that allows players to use transgender themed bullets is the M4 blueprint that players can acquire if they purchase Modern Warfare 3. And themed bullet shells are not new to Call of Duty, but the transgender themed ones are. They, they've had Halloween themed bullets, etc. before. And obviously people were rightfully upset about this. It's absolutely disgusting. It's degenerate. It's evil. Call of Duty, Activision, Microsoft are clearly promoting this. And you saw a number of people here, 9mm, Submachine Gun, Ian Miles Chong, Grums, Quartering, Endemion, Papa Uix, all calling this stuff out as disgusting and questioning what in the world Activision and Call of Duty were thinking. Well, leave it to Kotaku to defend the transgender bullets and their writer, Ethan Gok, Gotch. Headline reads, Call of Duty's trans bullets are the latest right-wing conspiracy rage bait. That headline is an absolute lie. Libs of TikTok and others are using Modern Warfare 3's Pride Month camos to push transphobia. There's no such thing as transphobia. Transgenderism does not exist. Men cannot become women. Women cannot become men. We are made in God's image. He made us either men or women. To believe in transgenderism is to attack God, to deny him. But let's read what Ethan Gok, Gok, Gotch has to say here. A possible Call of Duty bug. So right off the bat, he's claiming it is a bug. It is not a bug. They have themed bullets before. And they clearly apply this transgender theme to that M4 based on the camo. So it's not a bug. It's causing a new pride theme cosmetic to paint the bullets in one version of one of the game's guns, the colors of the transgender flag. Now, right-wing rage jockeys are seizing this to peddle transphobic conspiracy theories to so, idi so idiotic they would be laughable if not for the real world threats underlining the outrage. Well, let's go back and look at what people were actually saying. Call of Duty is selling trans pride bullets just what every mass shooter wants. Grum says, we just started Pride and we already have the worst virtue signal of the year. If the news media actually covered what was happening with mass shootings, they would know, but they either don't know or don't care. Sounds like the people that are pissed, including myself, are pointing out that a number of the recent mass shootings have been conducted by people claiming to be transgender because these people are mentally ill. They are unstable. So I have no idea what Ethan Gok is talking about with real world threats when it's people like Rums, people like the quartering are actually pointing out the real world threats that have been conducted in the recent, in past years. Nevertheless, he goes on and says, season four of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone went live last week. In addition to a host of new content, including Gundam skins that turn players into walking anime mechs, the update also rolled out free pride cosmetics on June 1. They go on to quote the, quote the site. I already went over that. 
One of the, those camo variants is the transgender flag. When the camo is applied, it paints the player's gun into a glittery version of the flag's colors. It also applies the flag's design to the texture of the on the ammunition cartridge for one skin on one particular gun, the M4. Goes on to point out how uh, Bob Network UK pointed this out, etc. Posted that that post on X. We just went over that. And then hours later, the post got picked up by the Twitter account Insane Cope, which tries to dunk on liberals by reposting screenshots of things they tweet. From there, quickly spread without any context to the usual gaming adjacent outrage accounts. Current free Stellar Blade petitioner Mark Rums current picked it up the day after on June 3rd. Former Game Ranks, blo Game Rank, Ranks blogger Ian Miles Chong reshared it as well. All of them derided Activision for adding trans bullets to their game, rightfully so. <clears throat> That's where the account lives of TikTok run by Chaya Raichik and Infamous for pushing homophobic and transphobic conspiracies found it. Uh, that sounds like a lie. No evidence to support that claim. Just out there saying it. Call of Duty is now enabling kids to roleplay being a literal trans terrorist, she tweeted. With the uptick in actual trans violence that we've been seeing, it's alarming that Call of Duty would introduce this. Indeed it is. It, it is. It is extremely alarming. Call of Duty didn't inter introduce this, though. What? They definitely did. Call of Duty 100% introduced transgender-themed bullets. What are you even talking about? Unlike all the grifters clout chasing off the screen grab, anyone who actually investigated the source of the transgender fly bullets would have quickly would have quickly realized they're seemingly isolated to one particular skin on one particular gun. Well, they still introduced it to that one gun with that one skin. That is them introducing it. So what are you even talking about? You are a liar. You literally lied. You're lying to yourself. This is so sad. These people are so pathetic. I mean, they it's so obvious that they just lie. They lie, they lie, and they lie again. Modern Warfare 3's M4 came with a special Soul Harvester weapon blueprint, which included a skin, specific attachments for the M4, and tracer rounds, which are colorful ammo options that also leave traces of different visual effects like paint splatters or rose petals for those who spent $100 to purchase the Volt edition of the game. Based on Kotaku's testing, it appears the trans bullets only appear when applying the transgender flag camo to that skin on that specific weapon blueprint. So... Uh, again, confirming that Call of Duty did indeed introduce transgender bullets to that weapon, that firearm. It's unclear if this is a bug. At one point during testing, the bullets in the cartridge were only the pink color in the trans flag or an extremely idiosyncratic reflection of how Call of Duty's complex shader system interacts across thousands of items at cosmetics. Well, we already, I already pointed this out. We have this screenshot, obviously, but here's another screenshot. You can see that the, you can see the bullets on this one as well. You can see them in the clip there, that they are the transgender color. Now, from everything I've seen is that when they eject, they're regular shells. They don't have the skin on them anymore. But we have, we have evidence here that they're definitely skinned that way. Activision declined to comment referring to talk to the original Pride Month section of its Season 4 update. Oh, look, they're literally confirming that that's indeed what they did. So they did put it in there. Of course. Of course, the fact that the trans bullet narrative is bunk doesn't really matter. It literally is real. You shared the screenshot in the article that you're now saying it it's, doesn't exist. Like, what? Like this guy is literally talking about how there's transgender bullets, literally admits that there's transgender bullets in the game, and now is saying that it's bunk. Like, I, I, what is he even talking about? The right wing refrain about a scourge of violence perpetrated by queer people blew up in 2022. Head of the election in Florida passed its don't say gay ban and conservatives. That's absolutely not true either. It's a parental rights and education bill. It was literally blocking degenerate evil teachers from trying to groom children in kindergarten through third grade, teaching them about sexual uh, orientation and gender identity. I uh, had nothing to do with not saying gay. Maybe it should have. Maybe they, we should do that. They, uh, if you listen to anyone who is gay, like listen to George Takei. He literally admits that he was sexually abused as a child. Conservatives started accusing gay, transgender, and liberal people. And liberal people, they, uh, they didn't. I don't know if that I, they didn't like. I don't even know what he he made, messed up there of being sexual predators. I mean, George Takei, George Takei is on record like admitting that he was sexually abused.
lots of these people admit that they were sexually abused as children. I mean, there's a whole, I, I talked about this in a previous video, American Life League, they did a study back in, or they reported on a study, the Kinsey study, that when self-identifying sodomites were asked if they were born this way, over 80% of them said no. And many of them pointed to abuse as to why they're that way. So describe them as sexual predators. It's accurate. And conspiracy started circulating online claiming the Uvalde, Texas mass school shooter was actually transgender. It's now become a mainstream conservative talking point to blame gun violence on trans rights activists. Well, there's lots of gun violence that has been committed by trans rights activists and transgender people. One need to only look at uh, the Nashville school shooter. So I, I really don't know what this person is trying to do. He's literally trying to paint a narrative, just lying through his teeth on all accounts. Kotaku, Ethan Gotch. Oh, additional reporting by Alyssa Mercanti as well. Oh, boy. Surprise, surprise. The merchant of lies. Contributing to this article. I wonder what she contributed. Another thing accounts like lives of TikToks are seizing on in the Call of Duty case is that the parents of the children killed in the Uvalde mass shooting recently sued Activision and other gaming companies over the way some of their games fetishize particular real world guns. The lawsuit alleges a connection between the in-game promotion of real world weapons and real world acts of mass gun violence, calling Activision's games a training camp for mass shooters. Spokes spokesperson for the company has called the Uvalde shooting horrendous and heartbreaking in every way, but said scientific research shows no causal link between video games and violence. This isn't the first time Call of Duty has become a flashpoint for a moral panic about LGBTQ plus people. During 2023's Pride Month, Activision pulled a skin from the game based on Nick Merckx after the popular streamer tweeted that LGBTQ plus rights activists need to leave children alone. Call of Duty streamer uh, Tim the Tatman defended uh, Nick Merckx and the company ended up removing his in-game skin as well at his request. So I'll just adding additional context, but clearly defending these trans bullets, defending the evil agenda, defending the transgender ideology. This is what Kotaku is degenerate and evil, and they must be exposed. They must be called out on all fronts. And we're going to continue to do that here. Let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable especially to, to each other, but to always speak the truth.